you know Sean and Corey, you know we love Halloween. I just kind of made that fact up, but yeah. we're gonna stick with I'll it. I'll allow it. So we made some Halloween number six with cheese pumpkin stickers. This week and this week only, you can get these by going on the number six with cheese website, ordering anything off the website, and we're gonna send these to you for free, baby. So check them out, check out our merch, grab something, get your pumpkin stickers, and celebrate Halloween. You know what, COVID might be stopping Halloween, but we're not. I love how passionate you are about Halloween. Uh, we're also very passionate about hot chicken and pizza. And when places come out with hot Hot chicken pizza. So today, spicy chicken on a Blaze pizza. We always have a good time at Blaze. So let's get blazed. I almost said torched, which would have been a missed torched, opportunity. This is actually a hot chicken meatball pizza. The choir jump cut. Oh, what a day. All right, let's go in. <laughs> what? I'm saving it for the fucking <laughs> video. You fucking <laughs> amateur hour piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's many places for anger management on this street alone. Corey Wagner, second angle. Uh, just wanted to point out these grotesque crotch shots. They just make you look at groin and butthole and taint. Right on the bottom. It's nothing but groin. So I don't know, I thought that was interesting. It is funny. Let's open her up and see what we got. Whoa, look at that. It's got lawn shavings. What are these skinny? They look like shaved, shaved carrots. And then maybe shaved cucumber or something? They call it coleslaw, but I mean, I think you nailed it with lawn shavings. <laughs> yeah, just a little sprinkle of lawn shavings, some crabgrass on there. Yeah. Uh, then we've got them uh, chicken chicken meatballs. I never thought about that. Meatball is just meat. It could be any meat. Right. I always assume uh, beef, but anyways, we got chicken meatballs of spice. We've got sauce of spice. We've got cheese of spice. We've got crust of spice. Spice is life, man. Spice is life, bro. This thing, it is. Spice is life. And spice today, it's gonna make my butthole bleed because that just looks hot. Yeah! Yeah! Up! There! Perfect! You Thank you! I forget Blaze is so thin. Very thin. What's the cost on this? This was a more expensive pie. This was a large, it was $18. Oh wow, that's crazy. You can get an 11 inch for $11.99 or something like yeah. that. So we got the... And their larges are regular places medium. Yep, absolutely. All right, here you go. Uh, it's this pizza. Shout out to Chef Kent, I think is his name. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I hate every bit of this. My carrots are so thick, I'm like, I know I'm, it's, they're noticeable. I don't like noticeable carrots. I don't want any carrots on my pizza. Yeah. The if carrots you want to try to sneak them in there. Yeah. Sneak them in there, but I'm noticeably biting through carrots on pizza, bro. Yeah. What are you doing that to me for, you know? This is definitely maybe like a shake off the coleslaw kind of pizza. I don't like the flavor of the sauce. I don't really like the sauce either. And it's so, it's thin in like a Red Baron way. Not in like a nice Italian thin crust, you know? Mm -hmm. For $18, this is trash. I get what they're trying to do with like the coleslaw being like the cooling factor. But yeah, the, the taste of the sauce with that like cayenne in it, it tastes metallic. Like you're sucking robots? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. Wow, I was really excited for this. After, yeah, me too. We just saw an article about it. Our buddy Patrick shared it. And we literally came here right after that. I need to try just a chicken meatball. Maybe that'll be this. I'd imagine those are good by itself or no. It's okay. Not great. Not great, man. Yeah, this is trash. All the marketing looked good though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, what are you thinking for heat? Not bad. Right. It's got good heat mm -hmm. for a you know chain type of place. Right. My thing with them is you always get, it's exactly what you want. It's never a great pizza, but I always saw it like, well, for the price and you can customize it and it's kind of fun. And I feel like those, like they're usually, I feel like the price isn't bad, but $18 for this, like this is probably like the size of a medium Little Caesars. 
And I bet you can even get like a specialty middle or a specialty little Caesars, and it's never gonna come close well, to eighteen. No, I don't think you, I don't think it's actually possible to spend eighteen dollars at Little Caesars. <laughs> yeah, it'd be tough, man. So they drizzle cayenne pepper sauce at the end. So they make a normal pizza. And then I saw him, there's footage of him doing that classic blaze circle thing with the sauce. And that's where that like, that, that taste comes from. Cause I don't mind blaze's red sauce. I probably don't either now that you said that. Cause it was definitely like, it tasted like a crappy hot sauce. Right, exactly. It was the taste I was getting. Um, yeah. And that's, that's the thing that was shining through is the thing I don't like. Right. That and the extra thick carrots they juiced up on here. And I did this last time too, where like I went, when I went in there to snag it, we did like the chef recommendation, right? Last time I think we got the arugula all over the white claw pizza. Oh, that was also dumb. So like, I think what they're doing is the, if it's the chef inspired thing, don't make the pizza and then put a bunch of stuff on it at the end just to like pretty it up. Like if the pizza's good, you don't need to like garnish at the end. Just True. leave arugula and leave coleslaw off pizza. That's my, and I like both those things, but I don't want them on this. I don't want coleslaw on a pizza. Yep. Well, I would venture to say that most of the people who are in the market for like a fast food type pizza, yeah. aren't probably huge coleslaw, like vegetable, That's pretty a good up point. things. So like, you know, make some money off this. Figure out a way to like, mm -hmm. have a good business idea. Don't like, make it stupid. Mm -hmm. I should be a CFO. I honestly think you could pull it off. Don't be stupid. That would be my main feedback. You go, yeah, he didn't really say much, but he did call, he did accuse us of all of being idiots. <laughs> the Sixer sauce, salvage it. It really does. It's like making the taste of that red cayenne pepper sauce go away. I bet. Because Sixer sauce has such a better taste that it's overpowering bad taste. Yeah, I feel like cayenne is one of those ones you can like, Bye. you can overpower a little bit if mm -hmm. you have a good sauce. Like I bet you a sriracha would cover this up well. Yep. The thing with Sixer sauce that's probably a little bit better than like say Sriracha is, I feel like with Sixer sauce I can like dump it on there. Yeah. Where Sriracha's got that little point dumper, it'd be like, I don't know, I just getting too over analytical, but I bet Sixer sauce is better for this. I can see, you're probably just a little flustered by this pizza I'm being not that great. Bro. We just spent $20. Throwing carrots on my pizza, bro. That pisses me off, dude. I was pissed off when they put all them, gra them leaves. Yeah, arugula all over it, dude. But then they're gonna put straight up veggies. Like you didn't even try, like bro, leaves is one thing. And then you're talking carrots and vegetables and oh, bro, you're trying to fight. You're trying to straight up fight. We sacrificed ourselves for you guys. I forgot to tell you I squared up with a rat the other day on instinct. Me and Kylie were walking and this rat by a bush went and ran by and I didn't even wasn't trying to do a bit or anything. I went, uh. <laughs> I kind of was like, what was that? I was like, I started dying. I, go, I don't know, but did you see I just squared up with that thing? <laughs> Throw it to box this wrap. Um, anyways, what I was saying is the chef recommendation says to get the coleslaw. When you go to get it, do not let them add that at the end. That's maybe the, Get rid of that sauce. And if you it. can, yeah, maybe get the sauce, the drizzle on the side in one of the side cups so you can still try it. But if you don't like yeah. it, your whole pizza is not ruined. And if you want to pull the real G movie, get the sauce on the side and then in front of them, just dump it out all in the trash. Look at the garbage, like, yeah. make eye contact with them. And just dump it out. And then that's a good life lesson for them. to They'll be able to report to the manager. Did anything happen today? Yeah, I don't think people like that sauce. All right, well, sometimes we're truth tellers, you know? All right, before we go ahead and bring all this traffic noise into the video, let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's right ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Patreon and it is awesome. There's all kinds of different tiers so that not only will you be supporting us, but we'll be giving you some fun, fun, awesome things in return. Uh, one of the number one things people love is watching all of our content early. This video specifically will be on our Patreon website, I bet you a good five days before it hits the YouTube world. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna catch all our glory nice and early, check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com com forward slash number six with cheese and if you sign up just like everybody else has signed up in the past present and future we're giving you a shout out patreon shout out number one mr or mrs chris block <laughs> i have an uncle chris and an aunt chris and they're married oh that's weird I isn't don't that like weird that. that creeps me out yeah I don't but they're like really that. nice people and i love them so. don't care still don't like he them. doesn't like you uncle chris and aunt chris <laughs> uh, chris uh donates five dollars a month uh which is super awesome that helps so much so chris block Awesome name, thank you. Merch out number two goes to a very special Patreon, hey, Jesse Moss. You said, you said, you said merch shout out. I did? Yeah. Patreon shout out number two goes to a very special patron, Jesse Moss. Woo! 
Jessie went from the $25 tier and bumped up to the $30 tier, Ooh. and with that, she got to choose where we ate, and she chose the amazing Super Dog. Oh, legendary day. We ate it, we loved it, we love you, Jessie. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. If you want to support us, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Keep it real, folks. All right, moment of truth. The Hot Chicken, which is a super deceiving name. Pizza, it's actually meatballs. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, out of five of meat wads from Ooh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, wads. how many meat wads from Aqua Teen Hunger Force do you give that pizza that just came out here today? You guys are seeing it a week later, but we're eating it on the day it came out. They have no test market knowledge from Chicago just yet. What do you give it? Oh man, that is a horrible pizza. Please don't get that. It's covered in effing carrots, bro. <laughs> Think about that. A pizza covered in carrots that they have the nerve to charge people 18 freaking dollars for. <laughs> Garbage, because they might as well just, I think they just took a red barren crust and just slipped everything off of it and then just covered it in carrots and some crap hot sauce yeah. and ha had their way with your wallets, man. Don't let them do it. I'm giving that a big fat zero. Boom. I don't see that. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, say something. I've seen the guy do the voice too, he does it, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really appreciated that they like tried something different. Like, I like that they went chicken meatballs, that's actually kind of cool. I like that they used like ghost pepper and scorpion pepper. Like, they didn't just do the traditional thing that every fast food place does. But man, it was just a swing and a miss. Like, swing they miss. swung so hard. Swung so hard. It's like the guy that they bring up from the miners that like, He's a good hitter, but man, he's now seeing what like a hundred mile an hour fastball is against like some of the best aces, and he's just closing his eyes and swinging, bro. They probably don't close their eyes, but that's kind of what it felt like to me. Um, I'm not gonna be as harsh as a zero, but because it still was like edible pizza, barely, bro. I'm gonna give it eighteen dollars. This is because you're a stooge. What do they no. call it on the internet? You're a part of Blaze's corporate headquarters. If you're giving this more than a zero, bro, hey, LeBron, you're a stooge. LeBron, dude. LeBron, sorry, Mr. Text. I'll, text, I'll text you back soon. You, uh, LeBron owns this. He's one of the own, uh, part owners of Blaze. Yeah, bro, you're a stooge, bro. That's an NBA champ, four time. NBA it's champ. the worst LeBron NBA James. champion of all time, dude. How many times has he lost? How many times is the NBA unchamp? Quite a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a one. Oh, gross. One. Yes, dude. one out of five is a bad score. You exposed them. You know what you did to this place? They went out, they walked over there to Clark and Belmont, and you pants You're them at rush student, hour. That's bro. what you just did to Blaze Pizza. You're a corporate Whoop, there's student. your berries. Ugh. Corporate gross. stooge. You're a corporate stooge, bro. <laughs> I wonder how much they're paying you, bro. I work for Mod Pizza, so I'm trying to bury this place. I told Patrick to share that link. It was all deception. Yeah, dude, you're a stooge. Guys, um, me, who's a big old stooge, and this normal guy, I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow we're going to Mayar Tavern. No. That's like it's Six if Corner a, style. If you're a, a, a weak, weak French quitter, if you're a gosh darn, what are they? What are the French famous for? Quitting and not taking part in wars and whatnot and being little, little nannies, you're little saying, ninnies. Hey, you're saying it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying it, bro. You don't pronounce it. How do you say it? Mayar Tavern. No, it's Mallard or Millard or Mal. It's a <laughs> dumb name for a place. We're going to get local cheeseburgers, so we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure we won't yell at each other anymore about the name. I'm sure that's in the past now. I'm lying.